Okay, so your exam's tomorrow. I'm here with Primrose Kitten. She will basically give you a bit of advice, I think, um, because, you know, is it too late? You've got, what, 24 hours, maybe less than that before your exams. Is it beyond hope, or...? It is never, ever too late. Um, it, it, I mean, it's not great if you're only just starting revision with less than 24 hours before your exam, but it is never too late. So if you are starting now, then great. Now is better than never to start. However, with less than 24 hours for your exam, there are a few things that I definitely recommend you do. One of them is basically go and watch my whole topic videos in like two hours for maths or an hour for each of the papers for science. So when you're watching these whole topic videos, go over them and make sure you know what's in them. Hopefully there won't be any big areas that you haven't covered. And these should be just gentle reminders to bring stuff that's stored deep in your long-term memory bit closer to the front that so we can use it tomorrow. That's the sort of revision you should be doing. Hopefully you've done all the past papers, you've made your corrections. If you've got any flashcards lying around, these are also mm. great, great things for you to be doing. These could be the flashcards that you've downloaded from my website, these could be ones that you've made on your phone. Quizlet is a great way to find flashcards that other people have already made. It's a little bit late now to making your own flashcards. Now, since the exam is tomorrow, there are some very, very important things you need to do today. One of them is go to bed early. I know that is not going to be a popular suggestion, but every single year I have students coming to me of the morning of the exam saying, Miss, I stayed up till three o'clock in the morning and I didn't eat any breakfast. And I'm like, it's literally the worst yeah. thing you can do for your exam. Happens to you as well? Uh, I remember my very last exam at uni. I did an all-nighter. I stayed up for I remember, 36 hours. I got to my exam and I did it all right. And afterwards, I was horrendously ill. I think I just worked to exhaustion. So yes. it's, um, and you know, my marks in the exam were okay. They weren't amazing. It wasn't like I was sort of getting 100%. So it's just not worth doing that. You, you can't consistently just work late and work late and do more work. So at some point, your just performance just, just, just really dips the next day. So... Yeah, you've got to, it's hard, isn't it? Especially being a teenager, trying to get to bed early and stuff, but you've just got to kind of force yourself to do that and realise that there's probably, if you spend an extra hour working, it's probably going to degrade your performance the next day. Really, really yeah. well. So go to bed early. And when I say early, I mean like nine, ten o'clock. Now, I know exactly what your reaction to that is going to be, and I'm not asking you to do it every single day. No. And you can stay up as late as you want over the summer, but the night before your exam, please go to bed early. If you're having trouble getting to sleep because I've sent you to bed hours earlier than you normally would, then you can try things like meditation, try taking a cup of tea and a good book up with you, something that will stop you going over the exam in your mind, something that will actually help you get to sleep. Please remember to also eat something tonight before you go to bed. Your brain needs sleep and it needs food if it is going to be able to work properly tomorrow. Absolutely. And in the video below this, we're going to talk about what to do on the morning of your exam. Yeah, tomorrow morning.